How to add depth to brushes in Photoshop. This tutorial uses liquify, oil paint, layers, layer styles, artistry brush, and patterns and brushes. Firstly, I need a brush and a pattern. Create a quick pattern. Go to Layer Menu and New Layer. Go to the Elliptical Marquee Tool and create a new selection. Go to the Gradient Tool, select one of the gradient presets and set the blending to Difference. And use a radial type. Apply the gradient to the selection a couple of times. The generated gradient is going to be used as a source for a pattern. Go to the Select menu and deselect. Why did I create a new layer? Well, I want to remove the background and create some transparency for the pattern. To add some depth to the pattern, I'm just going to go to the Layer menu and Layer Styles and Bevel. Change the depth and size. Click OK. Now go to the Layers panel. Delete the background layer. Go to Edit menu and Define Pattern and click OK. The pattern is then added to the presets. I want to fill a document with that pattern, so go to Edit Menu and Fill. Select the pattern you've created from the Patterns presets. Set Script to On and then go to the Script drop-down and select Random Fill. This will fill the entire document with the current tile. Click OK and a preview panel will display. Sadly, the preview rarely matches the end result. Set Density to High and Scale to Low. As you can see, the preview doesn't match the end result. Of course, you can reapply the fill multiple times. So just go to the Edit menu and Fill and use exactly the same settings. Just keep clicking OK. Apply it three, four, five, six, seven times and the document will now be completely filled with that pattern design. To smear or blur the pattern, go to the Filter menu and Stylize and oil paint. Turn the lighting off if it's on, then go to stylization and cleanliness and set them to high and click OK. You can of course apply the oil paint numerous times, apply it five or six times to really smear the design in. I'm going to be using this document with the art history brush, but firstly I need to create a brush to use with the art history brush. You could use one of the standard brushes, but I like to use my own. Go to a new document, select the Ellipse tool, set to Pixel Mode, set the colour to black, and then Apply. Go to the Filter menu and Blur and Gaussian Blur, set the Blur setting fairly low, click OK. Go to the Tool menu and find the Smudge tool. Might be in a different location depending on customization. I want to drag out some of the black from the centre of that design. Apply the smudge tool around the edge of the brush. Vary the brush size. So you can create some variation in the design. I just want basically a very rough brush stroke for the use with the art history. You could of course also apply filters to roughen up the design. That will be another approach. Once you're happy with your brush, go to the edit menu and define brush preset. Give it a name and Click OK. The brush is quite large. Once I come to use it in the art history, I will set it down to a very low value. You can now see the brush in the presets. With everything defined, we can now go back to the pattern filled document. Go to the window menu and history to display the history panel. Select the art history brush tool in the toolbar. Once you've done that, go and set the size of the brush. I want the value to be very, very low about 10 or 13 pixels. The other settings for the brush are normal blending mode as well as loose long for the style. Set tolerance etc as required. To display the brush settings, go to the window menu and brush settings. You can then change the spacing as well as color dynamics for your art history. I like to set the hue, saturation and brightness jitter settings to fairly high. You can also change the size jitter as well. You can also change the spacing for the art history brush. I'm going to set it fairly low. The art history brush needs a history state set. You can do that via the history panel. Go over to the history panel, 
go down to the last command and on the left side, just see a little box at the left side of the command. Just click on that to create a history state. It just stores the current image for the art history brush. Go to edit menu and fill and fill with black. Click OK. Go to layer menu and new layer and apply the art history brush to that layer. The great thing about the art history brush is you can apply it in different parts of the image. So you can just go to one part and apply those tangled lightning like brush strokes to your image. Repeat the art history brush a number of times and then go to the filter menu and stylize and oil paint. Set stylization and cleanliness to quite high. Click OK and apply a couple of times. You will end up with a very smeary art history brush stroke. With that layer selected, go to the layer menu and layer styles and bevel. Change the size and depth settings. You can change the angle settings. You can also go to the other settings such as drop shadows and add a drop shadow. Once you're happy with the design, just click OK. You could, of course, have a number of styles already preset and then just apply the styles via the styles panel. Just go to the window menu and styles. You can now see the art history layer has some depth. Well, you can add even more layers and add even more depth to your image. Go to layer menu and new layer. Give it a name and click OK. Go to the art history brush and now reapply using different areas of the image. You can always change the size as well as some of the hue, saturation, etc. settings. Go to the layer menu, layer styles and bevel and emboss. Change the depth and size settings. And then click OK. The new layer has some depth as well. As the art history brush has been applied to a layer, you can transform the layer. You can rotate it, you can resize it, you can distort it and much, much more and press return. You can also convert the layer to a smart object. So go to layer menu, smart objects and convert to smart object and then apply filters to that. Go to filter menu, stylize and oil paint. Apply the oil paint, click OK. Reapply the smart filter oil paint. To add more depth, go to layer menu and layer styles and bevel in boss. Set the settings, click OK. Go to the layer menu and new layer. Select the art history brush, then reapply the art history across the image in different locations. You should see now a very tangled design. At any point, you can always go to the brush settings panel and change the color settings, the color dynamics. Go to the layer menu and layer styles and bevel emboss. And again, add some more depth to the image. Click OK. For each layer, I change the depth and size settings. As a layer, you can transform the size and angle of the layer. Once you're happy with your transformation, press return. You can always convert the layer to a smart object via the layer menu, smart objects and convert. Go to the filter menu and stylize and oil paint, set the settings and click OK. I want to distort those lines, so go to the filter menu and liquify. Once you're in the liquify panel, go to the liquify brushes and then smear out the design in all kinds of ways. Once you're happy with your design, click OK. The liquify really creates some really nice widening of those brush strokes, as well as distorting and stretching out the design. Really powerful effect. Go to layer menu and duplicate. With the duplicated liquefied layer, you can then go to the bounding box and you can resize and rotate the design. Click OK. You should now have a very tangled mess of art history lines. Well, what you can do, you can add some more depth to it. Go to layer menu, layer styles and bevel and boss. Set the size and depth and click OK. Go to layer menu and new layer. Click OK. Select the art history brush. You can apply the art history brush again over the image in different locations. Go to the layer menu and layer styles and bevel emboss. 
change the settings again and click OK. And you can repeat this over and over again, just adding more and more layers. Go to Layer Menu and Smart Objects and Convert to Smart Object. You can also add adjustments to the Smart Object. Go to Image Menu, Adjustments and Vibrance. Increase the settings, click OK. You can also use other adjustments such as Look Up. Set a color look for your layer, click OK. You can add more depth to your Smart Object via Layer Menu, Layer Styles and Bevel Emboss. Change the settings and click OK. Go to Filter Menu and Liquify and then apply the Liquify brushes to that new Smart Object. You can distort the design in numerous ways. Click OK. Once you're happy with your Art History brushstroke design, you can flatten the image. Go to Layer Menu and Flatten Image. You can also then save it to your library or export it. I'm just quickly going to the Image Menu, Adjustments and Levels just to tweak the brightness. Once you're happy with that, click OK and that's it. You could add more layers. You could always change the history state to the current image and then apply the art history using that. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. I'm always adding new tutorials about Photoshop as well as other parts of the Creative Cloud. If you're interested, please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Also, please add a comment or two. That's always great. Also, a dislike or like. Thank you much.